If you really want to cancel your TV license, but you're concerned and worried about what might happen, and um, when you start getting threatening letters like these and things that say there's been investigations opened and all the rest of it, if you're worried about all that and you you know you want to put your mind to rest and cancel your TV license without worrying, uh, keep watching and um, hopefully we'll help you out. Yes, there's a TV set on at number five. It's in the front room. And they're watching Columbo. If you don't have a TV license, it won't take us long to find you. So I've been getting TV threat letters, I call them, um, for about three years now, one every month. And a lot of people in the comments say, oh, why don't you just tell them and that end the letters and stuff. And there were some people that do end the letters. Yeah, I could ring them up and tell them, I could email them, whatever, but I'm not obliged to. And I've done it once. Um, once is enough in my mind. I don't need to tell numerous people I don't need their services. Uh, that, ain't, that ain't the law, that's not how it works. Uh, and also, um, Pretty much what they're doing is harassing people. Like I've done previous videos, so I've covered my dress up on these, obviously. I'll open them in a minute, because this is a new one. Uh, special code on it to sort of, it's all mind games. Um, and also I couldn't help when um, they're economical with, with um, the truth. Well, I don't know, it's not the way of putting it. They, when they describe the law, um, so this is the law, as they say in their letters, and that's a bit misleading, and I'll explain that in a second. So it's a criminal offence to watch or record live TV without a licence on any device. Okay, live TV. So then under that, it says, this includes all TV channels. So... By that sentence, you're thinking that anything you watch is is you need a license, and that's that's not actually quite the case. So um, all TV channels, um, we'll get to that in a minute. Pay TV services like Sky, and which is true if you if you get scheduled programs and that's not on demand, you do need a TV license. And the idea of this video is not to. Um, break the law in any way i'm not encouraging that i'm not giving advice i'm just saying this is just my opinion and um what's happened to me um and live tv on streaming services like amazon prime video um you also need a tv license to be covered for everything on bbc iplayer and all that is true um but it's defining what is meant by live tv broadcast tv uh, and all the rest of it so the gist of it is um if a program is being transmitted and uh, people can watch it all at the same time, that's what they call broadcast or live TV. Well, it's not actually live. Um, obviously, it does cover live events. Any live, as in live, you're seeing it as it happened. Um, that is all covered. And anything um, which is all transmitted at the same time on a schedule. So if you can watch what you want any at any time on demand as such, then that's when you don't need a license. Um, you can watch YouTube, it's fine. Um, they're still not certain about the um, like live things on YouTube. I don't think that's covered, but don't again, don't call me on at this in advice. I haven't heard of any case where someone's been took to court or whatever. And also um, about getting took to court, um, that's not likely unless you really um, sort of do some wrong things as such so if anyone does come around after you receive these letters and stuff all these threats will you be in on a certain date and all this um investigation opened and all this um they haven't got any rights to your home um all this implied right of access stuff just could cover someone knocking on your door or putting a letter in your door like the postman that's an implied right of access where that's implied that's okay to, to receive your mail and someone to knock on your door, that's fine. Um, if you then tell someone to not, not or they're banned from your property, then they're not, they've legally got no right to um, come anywhere near your property. Um, and the people that come around, they're not, they're not BBC, they're, that's a debt collecting agency. Um, I'm not going to talk names and stuff because that could change. Um, they just contract it out. Um, so don't be worried as long as you're not breaking the law. The key to not paying your license legally is to understand and what you need a license for. And they will, the BBC with these letters or TV license and whatever they want to call themselves, they're not making it easier by how they do the word in, in, in their letters. So I'm going to open this um, cool one. I've had one of these before and uh, someone else made a video about this particular letter because uh, they started again, the number's gone back to. 
So INO1Y1. Right, so the legal occupier. I'm just going to rip my address off. And. And this is an example of sort of psychological stuff they send you, try, try to scare you. Your status, unlicensed, and there's a reference number and all this. Um, and I encode been issued against my address. They use it to target unlicensed homes. I don't know how they would use that code to target a home, I just seem. And they still put legal occupier, although I'm under investigation. They should really know who I am, really, if I've been investigated for three years. And then they go through all the license on any device, blah, blah. You could be prosecuted and have to pay a fine. So if, enfor if, if enforcement officers find evidence of a legal TV burn, you could be interviewed under, under caution and all that, which is no debt collectors can't interview you under caution. Uh, and that give you about all these penalties and stuff. And to, to stop a visit, basically pay. Um, and they don't really explain in depth what you can and can't watch. On the back, that says, when do you need a TV license? It covers you for all TV channels, pay TV service like Sky and TV, as well as if you, you know, If you don't watch TV in any of these ways, please let us know. So that's where you they want you to tell them that you don't need it, so they can convince you when you ring them up that you do. So, um, again, the key to... Uh, Defeating all this is not to speak to them. You, you've got no no obligation to speak to anyone. Someone can knock on your door. Your, the best two words you could say is no if off, but no thanks. Shut the door, that's it, end the conversation. If they don't go away and they hang around, call the police so you're getting harassed. But if they get evidence, they can, can not that that happens often, get a, um, warrant or whatever to get in your house and that's that's very i don't know if it's ever happened to be honest that's, that's very rare um usually people drop themselves in it by talking to these people uh, getting in discussions about what they do and don't watch and then they they get talked to court the, the biggest percentage is women and without any like you know all this nonsense about people being the same and equal and everything um women are probably more easily intimidated than men especially when they're on their own um some big debt collecting dude come up and start asking them and tell them they're gonna, you know, they can gain entry of their house and all this, which which isn't true really. Um, so um, this this letter I got here, this is this is from da from Daz. Um, so this is all in red, all scary, thousand pound fine mentioned. Um, officers now been authorised to visit, and they give his postcodes. They're not even given an address. Um, so, um, what to expect when you visit it? <laughs> oh yeah, and this is the threat they put in letters, which I think is out of order. So I think they scare old people and stuff. Officers visit properties every day of the week, morning, afternoon and evening. So they're putting the frighteners on you, saying they could turn up any time. They'll show you how and all So they, they go for it all, but they don't really... Um, explain without question of a day what you can and can't watch about it so you've got to do that yourself um use due diligence check it all out check the legal word and, and everything make sure in your mind there's other people out there better than i doing videos on this stuff um but you know I, i'm just giving my experience all the letters i received i still haven't had a visit i've done a video where i rung them up and invited them around i caught their code number god confessed they couldn't trace me by it because you know, everyone get the same code all over the country. Uh, and that's all a bit of a scam and psychological tactics. And I think that's about time it stopped. Um, I don't think they're going to defund the BBC at all. So we have to defund it as the people. Stop watching it. Stop paying your licence. Easy. You don't have to have a campaign to defund them. Uh, you can do it yourself. But stop watching. Stop paying. And don't talk to anyone who come at your door. Um, obviously, you know, if you've got your TV on and they can see that through your window and stuff, then they'll probably get a warrant and come around. But... If they can't do that, and you're not breaking the law, nothing can be done, um, other than the BBC will have to find their funds elsewhere. Um, they're never, they're never going to be um, independent of the government. Um, all the media's owned by the same people anyway. Um, uh, that's all a bit of a scam. So um, find your own news, do your own research, stop paying for garbage and indoctrination, and free yourself. And um, life without TV is quite enlightening. You choose what to do. Um, your life is not, you know, taken over by a, a scheduled program. 
mean, back in the day, they probably what everyone to sit down at the same time, and you know, I don't know. Um, the world has got a very strange place, so um, it's not all bad. Um, keep smiling. It's plenty good entertainment out there. Hopefully, you find this entertaining as well as informative. And um, I, I haven't done these videos for a while. I just saw. I didn't get fed up with it. It's just there's a lot of people doing it. And um, we had one video um, on this subject that's now approaching half a million views. So, you know, just for an ordinary guy, that's, that's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I thought it would make some more. Um, keep you updated. I still don't know how to visit. Got a big pile of lettuce. Uh, I'm not concerned at all. Um, if anyone do turn up, I'd say, no thanks, shut the door. The conversation. I'm not going to tell them I know the law and I know this. Don't, don't, don't dig your own hole. Shut the door, end of worry, end of problem. Um, that's it. No thanks, goodbye. Uh, so on that note, I'll say goodbye. Um, see you next month when I get the next letter. I've been saving a few up. Uh, I'm sure I've already got another couple of unopened ones somewhere. Uh, but I've got a big pile. If you want to see all, all the letters, I think I've actually now got all of them, all the newest ones. If you, any particular ones you want to see and want to explain, and drop a comment below. Um, and if you like this, please like, subscribe, and um, we'll be back one more. Thanks for watching.